So we showed you in fast motion me kind of setting up, but I wanted to give you a little bit more of an idea of what my basic setup is. Um, you did see that it was my laundry room. Um, a few reasons that I do that is um, even though I would like to have a whole room dedicated to just puppies, it gets difficult because of how much care they need, then I might not get to see my family as much as I would like, right? Because I'm out feeding tw every two hours. At least this way everybody's close. Um, so I don't miss out on things like doing my kids' schoolwork with them and things like that. So in my laundry room, this is what we have done. Um, I get pack and plays from like off of Facebook for as cheap as I can find them. I cut out one side of the, the one hole here. And this is where I nurse them. Um, a lot of times this is where moms like to come and they'll just hang out. Um, they do have a tendency to pee in them, so that's kind of gross. Um, so I keep puppy pads and blankets. I also try to keep some sort of like odor neutralizing um, bottle handy. Um, so I'll wipe it down, spray it down real quick, let it absorb, and then once it's dry, then I'll put new blankets and puppy pads on it. Um, I also keep a tray of the things I use most often handy. Um, so wipes I use like constantly. Um, a little bit of petroleum jelly, a booger sucker, um, baby or desitin or some sort of like baby butt ointment. Um, I try to keep it as natural as possible, so this is Burt's Bees. Um, and cornstarch. Sometimes our bellies will get wet. If they stay wet, they can actually break out. Um, the little butts can get kind of raw from mom licking them so much. Um, or if you have to use the wipes to stimulate them, they can get raw. So the butt cream is just to help protect their little bums. I also have a um, stadium chair that my husband got me to save my back because while I'm sitting down here um, with the puppies, it, it gives me the ability to lean back a little bit. Um, I was having some back problems from crouching over nursing so often. Um, so with this setup here, it helps me and they seem to enjoy it. Um, you can also use like a baby swimming pool, like those hard-sided ones. Um, I have a harder time with those just because it's even more leaning over, um, but it is nice because they can't get out of that. Here you would have to make sure that you pay attention so that they don't topple out. Um, love my stadium chair. We also have a lot of puppy pads on the floor because a lot of times you don't want to let the moms go outside too much um, because then they're bringing germs and bacteria inside to your nursery. So you're going to need a ton of puppy pads um, sprung out and wherever they like to go potty. So I have extra paper towels, you're going to need a trash can, a lot of trash that happens. Um, I have my oxygen concentrator because uh, Bulldogs are a flat face breed. If you have the ability to get a content oxygen concentrator, this is a refurbished one so if the price is a little bit easier to handle than a brand spank a new one, but it allows me to give them oxygen at all times. So I turn it up pretty decent. Um, when they're first born and then over the weeks when they start to outgrow the incubator that I have here, which I love very much, they I can decrease the oxygen until they're ready to move on to the next step. Which is also really nice if you have the pack and play because if you get the one that has the bassinet insert, then when they grow out of here, but they're not ready to be running around like crazy puppies, um, it's a nice in-between, right? So they have like that nice little cushiony area. They can't climb out of it yet, so that's really helpful too. Um, so we have the oxygen, the oxygen concentrator, the pet ICU brooder, tons of puppy pads. Again, um, I also stole my daughter's stethoscope because sometimes when they, if I feel like they got um, milk in their lungs, it allows me to kind of hear a little better, see if I need to put any um, a butyrol and the nebulizer for them. Um, Right now we have a camera that's sitting here. This is just temporary. I wasn't sure where I want to put it. Uh, we haven't lived in this particular house very long, so I'm not sure where would be best to situate it. Uh, but it allows me, when I'm in my bed, to pull up my phone, my security system, and just take a look at them and make sure that everybody's moving the way that they should be. Um, I have to have a basket of other supplies back here. So in it I have um, colostrum gel. So this is really great for when they're first born. If their sugar levels drop too low, you can give a load of this to them to help re-energize and give them enough strength to actually latch on a nurse. So colostrum paste, um, 
I use a lot of syringes for all kinds of things. What do you need to do? Puppy enema or medicines or you know anything like that. And this is where I keep my albuterol. Um, I also have little remedies gripe water. Sometimes they just get upset bellies. It happens. Um, so this is for gas, colic, and hiccups. Um, very small amount, so this will last me like. I don't know, it'll expire before I use it all. Um, sometimes their umbilical cords um, might not be tied correctly, so keep dental floss on hand to um, try to, you know, if you need to, you can retie it off to help keep them from bleeding out. Um, oh, what else is in here? I also have these down. I also have back balm. Um, little um, dry skin cracks, things like that. So, um, you know, if they, if they have like cracked, like some spots on their paws, or like the mom right now, her nose is kind of dry from being inside. It's Ohio. There's no humidity anymore. Um, so little things like that just to help keep them, everybody comfortable. Polly's born, obvious reasons. Um, cortisone um, can help for anything that. Um, Anything that's like swollen. So sometimes I actually use Preparation H more than cortisone. I'm not sure that is at the moment, but um, sometimes their little their little buttholes will get like bulgy, and it can help reduce that for them. A food scale, so I can weigh the puppies. I try to keep a record of what they weigh before and after um, a few of the meals, just to make sure that they're actually eating and gaining weight. Washer and dryer, because a lot of it is needed. Um, this is what we used to bring the puppies home in. Um, my goal is to eventually get a portable oxygen tank, but I don't have that yet. Um, so what this is, is just a regular tote, holes drilled on the top for oxygen. Um, I keep blankets in here, um, and then a heating pad. This is a heating pad that shuts off every two hours, so you want to make sure you keep an eye on them if you're going to keep them in here longer. Um, you don't want them to get cold. Um, keep it on low. I usually put it on medium for um, a, a little bit until about half an hour before I need it and then I kick it down to low so that they don't get overly heated. Um, baby bottles. Oh, that's, I also have like a whole bunch of like um, tube feeding supplies, um, bottles, syringes, sponges um, for any type of reason that I might need. Um, like powder colostrum. Let's say her milk, her milk doesn't come in, I have the ability to make up a quick batch of formula for them and keep them stable until her milk does come in. Um, or if something tragic happens um, and there is no milk at all, I have the ability to not see the beat and make sure that they are probably taken care of. Um, I found these. They're so cute though, like these little teeny tiny um, Dr. Brown bottles. Um, so they only eat like a milliliter per ounce of their weight. So it's very little, I think that's what it is. It's very little amount. So you don't need a whole lot. And it's just like with a regular baby, if they go to drink it and they don't fish at all, you have to throw it out so you don't want to waste it because the bacteria goes back inside. Um, gloves, night lights. Um, I love my Alexa. She set the timer to make sure that I don't forget to start a timer. I usually have it set for like 20 minutes while they nurse. Um, gives me an idea of how long we've been nursing um, and cuddle time with mommy. Um, lots of disinfecting wipes. Hand sanitizer. They have little to no immune system. So you want to make sure, first of all, you don't have any people coming in and out of your nursery. Um, and if you do have people come in, they need to make sure that their hands are sanitized. Um, and honestly, I still wouldn't let them touch them for a while because their immune system is so low. Um, but this is something that I do. Every time I enter and every time before I touch a puppy, I sanitize, my family sanitizes, needs to make sure that happens. We have her crate hidden under here. Um, they don't spend a lot of time in here when they're in the nursery. They just kind of hang out and do what they want. Clean blankets, dirty blankets, um, extra supplies. Something else that you're gonna need is rubbing alcohol um, or witch hazel and cotton pads for when their umbilical cord falls off. Sometimes the mommy will lick them too much and their umbilical cord can come off a little early. You wanna make sure that that does not get infected. Um, um, lots of treats, right? So mommy might not feel like nursing, but 
you know, if you give her something, a reward at the end, it makes it worth it. Also, if they do become attached to their puppies, which is always what you want, when you take the puppies away to put them back in a safe area, you want to give her a reward and remind her that she's doing a good job. She's a good girl. She did what she's supposed to. Um, phone, charger, fan, box fan is great. Um, food dishes. I think that's pretty much it. I think that's it. The floor is nice and cool. She's enjoying it. So we'll do another video on basic puppy care and basic mom care um, before they have the C-section and after the C-section, like what to do when they're pregnant. So look out for that video and we'll hopefully have that one up for you guys soon.